Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to discuss where we stand with the U.S. election uh, in 2020 in Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Stick around and listen. The report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yes, uh, harsh times could be ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. We are seeing, I think for the first time in my lifetime anyway, um, the US election being uh, totally rigged in the favor of the Democratic candidate. Um, I, I've never seen anything like it. Um, I think there's something like a, a million votes turned up after the election um, and have been given to, given to Biden, which has also brought Georgia into play now. Um, uh, there are rumours that um, Trump could end up taking Arizona, but you know, I mean, there's going to be some uh, horse trading still, and obviously Trump is going to take some of these things to the uh, Supreme Court, but um, I don't know if he's going to be able to turn uh, enough of these states around um, so that he will be able to, uh, you know, achieve the result of 270. So, you know, we're in a very um, scary position. Uh, it's quite clear that from the start of the year, um, the whole COVID crisis was created so that there would be, uh, um, so many people would use mail-in voting. I don't know how many people did use it, but however many it was, it might have been 5 million, it might have been 6 million, but they've definitely created an extra million or two votes spread out across the country wherever they need them, maybe even 3 or 4 million, who knows. Um, and so whenever, and they've probably done it in mainly the swing states. So when they need them, they bring them in. About a million um, posted votes have come in um, for Joe Biden, I think in Georgia. It's absolutely ridiculous um you know i mean people always talk about um the kind of uh that the trump wants to count all the votes in arizona yes because there's a lot of pro-trump votes um in in arizona but he wants to stop the vote in georgia because yes they're using um you know uh mail-in votes which are fraudulent votes donald trump has said that he's interested in counting every legal vote but not never uh, not the illegal ones and i think that's a that's a bi that should be a bipartisan issue shouldn't it ladies and gentlemen but it isn't um you know obviously the the uh, liberal media is in absolute um you know heaven over this um you know as as, to, as is to be expected um you know, many people on the GOP, um, uh, some are obviously speaking out in favour of Trump. Uh, obviously, he secured the House for them. Um, they've, you know, kept the House. But, you know, that also can be seen as a kind of... I mean, the, why don't we talk about the swamp? It's not just people in the Democratic Party. There's a lot of people on the GOP who are part of the swamp. And they just want to return to business as usual, which is wars for Israel, which would be a war with Iran, probably some kind of huge conflict with North Korea. I um, mean, you know, they want endless war. Donald Trump was interested in that. They want to destroy the economies of America and sell them out to China, which is obviously what's going to happen. I mean, this is incredible treachery. Um, you know, it, it really is quite scary, ladies and gentlemen. And um, obviously, I'm going to keep doing reports until we do know the outcome. Either way, um, obviously, if, if Joe Biden uh, is announced president, um, and uh, there's a rumor he's talking later tonight, so he may well be, an, he may well, he's not going to be announced, but he will, he might declare himself the winner. And obviously, there'll still be a lot of fighting and in the in the courts. And you know, you never know. Trump might pull a rabbit out of a hat, but if he doesn't, well, you know, um, we have to go through this. Um, you know, I might take a little break from uh, podcasting for. Um, a month or so just to have some time off because uh, these are quite traumatic times for somebody on the new right. Um, obviously, we had a lot of faith in Trump and um, I do think he's going to fight for us to the end, you know. But, um, you know, I mean, life does go on no matter what happens. Um, but uh, it's very scary, uh, um, I think, what's being plotted here. And, um, you know, I, I personally find it most upsetting and um, I think it's going to have terrible ramifications, obviously not only for America, but for the whole planet. I think it's going to jeopardise the national security of Australia and, and many other Western nations. So, you know, we just have to see what happens. We have to, you know, pray and, and hope that um, Donald Trump does have uh, some kind of uh, ace up his sleeve or can pull a rabbit out of a hat. Um, but I did notice that the Rupert Murdoch press has begun to turn on him, which is never a good sign. I mean, obviously, um, Murdoch, I mean, though he, he runs Fox and he runs like the Herald Sun locally and stuff, you know, I mean, he, he's, he's often right wing his newspapers, but you know, um, you know, they're, they're still part of it. You know what I mean? They're still part of what's called the globalist media, unfortunately, even though some of it is right wing. So, you know, I mean, that's a, that's a foreboding, t uh, a foreboding, um, omen, so to speak. So anyway, look, I'm going to keep bringing you the reports here on the report from Tiger Mountain. And, uh, obviously I'll do one when, when the outcome of all this is finally finished. And obviously this might carry on right till December, to December. So, um, um, and we'll just see what happens. Uh, and, um, we'll take it from there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for listening. The report from Tiger Mountain.